New sound effects added in the patch by Valve. I ran out of breath there, Jesus. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> All right. Now, action stations. Let's get into it. I do want to see, is there a smoke grenade for Twist? Not today, it was previously his job. A different one, fast towards green train and one fast towards con. It's a different look. I wonder if this is going to be pop and main split. Oh, even hit blame in the face. Still blocks off the line of sight all the same. And now bunny hopping around the corners. This is looking very like a Counter-Strike native. Look at config though, just slaying down the law. Three quick kills. This round's practically over. Twist and Rez trying to pick up the pieces, put it back together again. I'm afraid Humpty Dumpty's dead. And so is this round. Bit of a dead rubber, although gone. Uh, USP, I would never write res out with a USP and full HP. Two to five, Poison's head spotted and whoa, nice precise stabilization after the initial punch. It will be complexities first. Config gets all the credit there. Let's see that one again. So spots one on the blue train. The fact he adjusts that quickly and finds the precision into the other two as well. Just another jiggle, three bullets in the chamber. Gets him with one to spare. All right, good stuff here. Kicking it off in a fast fashion. I'm sure Jason Lake will be on those cams in no time. Owner of the Complexity Boys loves a good game of Counter-Strike, old Jason Lake, and well, so do we. We'll be seeing the four spire for NIP coming on through. It's Deagles are plenty, five across the board. Some utility coming on in, and there are a bunch of smokes in play. Two HEs, a couple of flashbangs. Rush was pivotal when we watched Complexity play train previously. Oh, it's not far off. Great nades. Lame. Climbing the ladder may have saved his life there. Gets the info. Can dip down. Look at that long line of T. So they could be setting up that smoke towards inner to use it as a bit of fake over towards Ivy. They do have control. Twist, however. The one who was featured throwing it and smacked on Reddit. He's towards main. So with a minute left on the clock, they've been able to contain the CT pushes. See, no one's pushed box holes, no one's up pop dog, no one's in main. Things are looking pretty good right now for the NIP guys, and now they can unload I mean, their smokes. I've been stupid, Chad. I can't... Is there a coach for complexity that I'm forgetting? Kita. Oh, of course. Thank you. Kita. Henry right, he's G's not banned boy. yet. You know, he's all good. Yeah, I was wondering whether, whether the, uh, the drama <laughs> caught up with complexity. Oh, dear. Regardless. Right. Whew. Spots two. And doesn't spot the bomb, so the CTs will make some decisions based on that. The Deagle fights are coming in thick and fast, and that should be a clean... Only the first. Plopsky does well to win that duel, and don't forget Blame's low from the earlier Deagle work, but it won't stop him yet. Config looking set for another 3k to get the round started. I was going to steal it from him. Better to have an SMG find the frag anyway. And so they only lose one player. This is perfect start to Complexity's CT side adventures. And you can see Nork not too happy with that one. Zero ADR. Big goose egg for him at the moment, but it is just the second round of play concluded. So, Glocks. Glocks. Full uh, eco should be coming on through. Nothing that we will be getting overly Didn't excited check about. Twitter when we said talk to us. Some we... people sent some messages. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. I That's think okay. they were probably all getting themselves a couple of snacks for this game, getting the popcorn, getting everything they needed, making sure they're prepared for another hopefully exciting game of Counter-Strike. I was really impressed with Complexity and their resilience the other day when they took on Astralis during Glaive's debut, I mean, back from his medical leave. And the seven-man roster, I've actually tweeted about it earlier today, Alex, they're going to be using Essatag today instead of Bubsky. So Zipex still yet to make his return. I'm sure that'll be coming in the near future. Rez being tagged on up there by the Scout of Poison. We'll think better of hanging around and I'll explain this for all the newer viewers. You'll see the T side taking these rounds relatively slow, trying to milk out, bait out, waste any CT sided utility, so they have to reinvest. They've been able to get a little bit, but now being melted away themselves. No armor, no real pistols to speak of. So it should be a quickie. Nothing, nothing out of control for the complexity side of things as they'll post three very quick rounds on the board. Has been quicker Counter Strike action packed. And the guns are back out. Nork has enough money to buy his AWP, and he will don that immediately going into first real gun round of play here, round number four. Poison holding on to the scout. He could invest. And there he is, Jason Lake. He's in there. Like swimwear. He's loving it. 
and hopefully sell away. Maybe some complexity swimwear line. Maybe that's something we could uh, I could pitch to him. You want some budgie smugglers? Yeah, I want to smuggle my budgie with a complexity star right in the center. All right. But smuggling of budgies aside, it's time for some grenades and some bloodshed as we see Nork through the wall into poison, winning the aim duel head-to-head -head for now. And already progressing back towards the inner side. Conflict to be tested here. And he jiggles. It's a wide swing. Oh, big. That's nuts. Look at him. He just keeps moving. Crowd spray control, and he gets away with it. Not too bad. Keeps him with the man to the good. Bomb will be planted courtesy of Plopsky. Yet to see. Nork find a second, but he's set well to do it. Orp on the after plant, positioned accordingly. They are pretty vulnerable to a flank. Twist has got that covered, though, and they are all coming from one direction, so that's... One benefit. That connector smoke helps Obo, gives him a chance. Time is a problem now. They need to get a move on. Yeah, it's going to be Rush charging in. The kit's on blame. Keep your track of that. Keep your track of twist. Double kill. Should be enough, surely. Flashed it for the final confirmation. He knows it now. Running away. They're trying to escape. He double checks the bomb. It's all yours. Don't panic. The round will go to his way. He'll be safe in that corner. So Poison will be able to buy an AWP, Oboe will be able to buy as well. Confi could drop a gun over to Rush. So we know that the buy is plausible. I thought this was great from Confi. This, by the way, here. the crouch spray. And just avoiding everything and doing damage. It's wild to see. He's unlucky he didn't get uh, the Pretty second close, one there yeah. on the first little run around. And then Twisted done enough. Clutching out a big one and putting the first round on the board for the ninjas in pajamas. Friends once upon a time with the bananas in pajamas. You thinking what I'm thinking, B1? Absolutely. And the uh, ninjas in pajamas are running down the stairs. Poison trying to catch him. Not quite going to get him today. I said bananas, didn't I? I meant the ninjas in pajamas. That was good. I liked it anyway. Config's going to be trying to probe main. It does seem like he's non-committal. One of our problems as well, I think, Alex. Look at the way this, look at the way this exact same map we just watched feels like a different game. Yeah, completely. Completely. And I'm not talking about a different match of Counter-Strike. When I say game, a different game. Like this map is playing completely differently. Now a default, three crawling out Ivy, very different scenes here. No Resident smoke Hampus gimmicks. faffing around, no smoke gimmicks. They haven't got much to work with on the T side of things, so a flash Ivy and go, but it does force Rush off the line. It gives them some space, but oh, into the meat grinder. Obo can't believe his luck. Back turn, bottom spanked, and now poor old Hampus. Only got 82 points of health and a freebie. Oh, lordy. Tagged up config down to 33 on the pop dog transfer. But he's still roaming around, five bullets. They're giving him plenty of space to work here, Yeah, Chad. they are, they are. But the time now is the issue. 20 seconds, jumps up, sees where Poison is, so he knows where two of the three members are. Has the bomb. Ooh, get a chance to plant Config, trying to just slow him down and stop it. But by the book, here is complexity. Ah, and eventually, they'll deal with him. So making sure they weren't giving away too many weapons, they couldn't risk having many individuals die. And by here, they could clamp down as a team, make sure that he was caught and transition, and that's easy as that. So four on the board for complexity and very good stuff. One note in the early stages, Obo has actually been out towards the yard position. When we saw him last time, he was locking down that inner bomb site. Point. Poison's been over towards inner with the AWP. So potentially thinking a, a bit of a mix-up coming in today's matchup, playing their primary AWP in a different locale. It's a quick timeout, five rounds in. An important one though, I think. I think that if you are a coach like Threat and the game plan's not going in the direction you want or you have some information that you maybe you need to update them with or if things are looking a little bit different, let's pass that through early. Maybe yeah. there is a little bit of tilt in the comms. People are just a little bit off. You dispel that as quickly as you can. Let's not have that carry too far into your T-half here on your map choice. So after the timeout, NIP have enough money to buy rifles on Nork, Hampus, and Twist. And it looks like that is exactly what they're going to go for here. The cheaper Galil is allowing the buy for Plopsky. Twist has actually opted to go for the Galil as well, as opposed to the more potent AK, which he could have afforded. Just would have meant no utility for him here, and Rez is deciding what he needs to buy. It will be the Deagle. So much util prioritized here. Yeah, and, and that... Uh, well, it's not an issue. It's a chance for them to potentially get into these rounds, and with a bunch of players gallivanting over towards the box holes early, led the charge by Rez on this Deagle. 
It might just be an inner hit, and Oboe how, now has repositioned back towards the B-bomb site. He was phenomenal when we watched Complexity's first train performance. He was 30 in regulation, if to my memory. Just multi-kill, multi-kill, unfazed by well-coordinated inner hits and playing well above his years, considering I consider that to be one of the most, you know, cerebral and respected positions for a CT side player. He was just playing retake. Now that he has a rotator in tow of Poison with the AWP, he is pushed more forward to play spoiler. When the smoke timer drops towards that low ramp, he will have to change position, and he's already thinking of doing that now. Okay, so he's got the inset. Does he go up the ladder and play this interesting setup? He's actually still sitting, ready, and waiting to, as you call it, play spoiler. I like it. The flash from Poison in support, just so Obo can reposition. But that's the Goku. Seems like a deep smoke coming, coming in from both sides. Nobo does draw first blood. He's ready, raring to go. Hampers has taken heavy bullets as well. Look at this, they barely see him. It doesn't matter, Oboe's just knocked down three. Anyone else? Give him the ace. Obo finally silenced, but the damage is done. Digs a shallow grave for four of them. Nothing really for Twist to contribute. He's flashed, and he is splashed. Five to one then, complexity. Thanking their lucky stars that Obo exists, 10 to four. Yeah, that was really good stuff from Obo, and I like the way that Poison dropped down and then played in tow so that he could cover off the low ramp where Obo could just focus on the high ramp as they were coming out. So that's the opening. And then as Obo's dropped down to this position, Poison's actually left the high ramp and rotated through to cover off the, the I guess, the progression to the bomb train. So that's given him a, an opportunity to be very mobile, be all over the shop, and cause some big issues for the ninjas in pajamas now. Five to one, they are down on their map choice. The T side can be difficult to get the engine going, like a diesel car in a cold morning. Well, once again, maybe back in my day with the quills and <laughs> making bread from scratch. Hey, that, nothing wrong with bread making, man. Rush make, likes making bread. You made anything recently, Rush? Uh, not in a while, actually. I did make banana bread not that long ago. I, you know, that's my, one of my favorites. You made it's us delicious. cookies when we were here last time. Yeah, I did do, actually. Some nice uh, chocolate chip cookies. I've been maybe doing we some... Could, uh... We could double whammy rush and we could do a, a nice little whole wheel Whole wheel? Let me try again. Whole meal loaf. Oh, yeah. W uh, when we're doing our little um, beat saber date. Oh, yeah, yeah. We make, make some bread. Do you know how good a house saber? smells when you're baking loaf? It is nice. Oh, we could. that would be such a lovely combination of, of tantalizing sense tinglers. Well, I'm ready for it. All right. Sounds like a plan. Good to check in with Rush. Always is. Of course, that's your observer if you're wondering who that random voice is, otherwise known as Green. Hasn't been going by Green as much recently. It's true. He's actually, I think he's kind of realized that there's there's more to, to life than just the one color in the palette. Yeah. I've seen him, you know, looking at yellow a little bit. He does look at yellow. I saw him consider a bit of blue. He wouldn't consider blue. I know. I thought that was you. On the weekends. Blue. Six to one to complexity now, and they are friends with the color blue. A nice star logo up the top against, well, what is it, a shuriken? It is a shuriken. There we go. Well played. We've got ninjas, we've got samurais. God, we could write an incredibly ob obtuse monologue about the teams and logos, couldn't we? But Hampus is about to try and write some new history for us as he walks on out and concludes the opening business. It's Flame Air forced to watch now. It's round eight. We'll continue to transpire without him. Rush. Oh, caught just as the smoke was blooming. That's a big frag for Nork to pick up. Config evades the flash nicely. He wants to spoil this, and he can completely find the equilibrium, tips the scales back into competitive favor. Obo and Poison left to keep this flowing in a complexity direction. It's been six to one, string together three consecutive rounds. The bookends of the NIP one. Oh, leaving Obo on his own here. He's going to have to get more than one frag. I'm not sure. Why if do I have faith in he does though? Maybe, maybe I'm just a big Obo fanboy. No, I can see it too. He can flick right now onto mm -hmm. Plopsky. Seeing the oh, feet, oh, seeing the toes. Oh. I wonder if that lulls him into a false sense of security and he walks into Nork's scope. Nork's not even looking. Oh, you're right. Nice work from Obo as he does manage to once again pull another player down to level playing field. Won't be able to control the spray. Just a bit better skew on the adjustment. Plopsky up against Poison. And he has control of that bomb. Very impressive reaction speeds on this Bulgarian. Plopsky's still on the train right uh, now. 20 seconds, dude. 20 seconds. Twist is walking up the Pop Dog bomb train route. He's just taking his eyes off the bomb. Will not be picked up safely. 14 seconds. Twist has to retrieve it. He's repositioning to stop the plant. 10. 
Four to plant, looking for the safe haven, does find it. And Poison closing that gap. Oh, a bit of a stalemate here. Stepping into the line of fire, and Poison's patience is rewarded. Complexity. What a turn of events, Chad. It looked, well, those that was off Config with the multi-kill. That multi was a 3v5 at one point. Yeah, so Config gets the multi-kill there at main. He stops, he causes the pause. The bomb is in no man's land, it's dropped. And then towards Yard, Obo and Poison work together to take back territory. That's how we open this one up. What was Rush meant to do in a situation like that? Config with uh, two huge kills, the information on the bomb drop, and then Poison just left in a very winnable scenario due to the time. So things are looking great here. Continuing forward, our complexity, seven to one now. NIP still have enough money to go for the buy. No AWP for Nork available, but it will be the five AK-47s. And now towards the inner side, Obo's back in business. Oh, down pop, never mind. Through the flames. Oh, that's insane. Plopsky does lose a great deal of health and Poison's not missing much at all. Maybe another one <laughs> before he goes down. They finally knock him off his perch, but the damage is done and the round is too. Eight already. Complexity are on a spree here. They're on good day, good games done quick. Yeah, this is nice to see. They are just locking it out. They've been presented with a lot of different looks so far here, and they've been able to handle every single one of them. Poison using that smoke on the bomb train there, being able to... There's a little bit of a cheeky one way and having a giggle. So we heard from Blame the other day that he's been communicating well, and that's very good signs for Poison when he's in the server. Well, it seems to be carrying on from where they left off against Astralis. Counter-Strike is in flux at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. There's no top dog, but Config, he wants to be the top of Pop Dog. As he stops the push from Rez in the early stages. It's a half buy from NIP, so any damage they can do here, any plan, anything, but it's not getting obliterated by Poison's AWP in back-to-back -back rounds. That would be one start. Would we'll certainly make things a little easier, but I'll be honest, this one, I would be struggling to have much confidence in. Hampus kind of dribbles the attempt there to blame. Not the dribbling we're used to. No. Significantly less fun. But pivoting to inner, it just... <laughs> you know what's going to happen. Yeah, I do. You're, you already know what's going to happen. Okay, you ready? And Oboe gets three. End of sentence. Not today. Popsky changes my mind. Blame is the one to step up to the plate. And that's the end of that. It's the triple kill. All the same. It's four in the fact in the round from Blame as he joins them in the double-digit fragging club. We'll see that one again as he arrives just in the nick of time. You can see that smoke was no problem for him. Double initially, triple to finish it all off and put a bow on it. And of course, distracted and drew into the inner sight by Oboe. But you can see the fragging contributions very even across the board and the ninjas have really struggled to get going. I have just watched a team that went 9-2 up lose. That's true. Twice, so... I'm aware of oh, potential for a turnaround, and Nork is too. Does go aggressive, and he gets wall banged right back. You see that? Poison. You cheeky bean. Well, they've been able to stop the push coming out main here, and we've seen this two-man Ivy set up from Complexity before. Rush and Blame F, poised and ready. Is that the best angle for a T to sit Ivy? Because I swear every player does this. It's just such a... Your head's a bit more tucked yeah. in next to the bin, so you have the, the chance for a little whiffy G. Mm -hmm. He's always on the cards, but the run boost coming across. This is what the setup's ready for. They're not going to pluck them out of the air, but if they throw the progression smokes, Blame can push forward on that, and Rush will lock them out here. So that smoke is going to remain in place until roughly 50 seconds, and Nork will just take a warning shot and saunter on back. Where does he want to go? He's not sure, is he? He's in limbo at the moment, waiting for the move okay. of their adversary. Now we'll see the Ivy smoke deployed. So that's two smokes. That'll cut the clock down to 30 seconds. Where did they finish? The bomb still towards main. So it will just be a late finish onto that A hit, but the way in will have to be from Ivy. I don't know if Twister's got it in him. Convict still has a Molotov. He could drop that now. 30 seconds. Flash for the fight. It's perfect. Completely blind. Nor can't contribute. I say that as his eyes and vision is restored. Blame 
Deleted. Rush spots another. They're running out of time, though. It's of the essence. Hampus into the side. This will be an effective and clinical approach, though. Three of them on at the advance and already leveling the odds. Hampus is turning it up. Nor caught. Down as well. Bomb needs to be down. Hampus has made that happen. Just in the nick of time, but he's lost his teammate. He would have to clutch up the newest ninja, 10 Bye -bye. HP. It comes down to the mind games. He has made this a reality. His hard work gets him to this point, but now he has to pull it across the line and of course, Config's going for the ninja. Hampus, clean as you like. Magnificent. Started that round with nothing but three frags. He leaves with seven and puts the second on the board for the ninjas in pajamas. Let's see that from his POV. Lots of trust there from Poison on Rush in that setup. If either of them falters, you can see exactly how this one falls apart. And a couple of missed shots from Rush there. I think he's using the AWP as more of a utility player. He's not known to be an AWPer. You know, we throw that one around. Rush, always a handy rifler, more of a supportive element, picking up the AWP for his position's sake of Ivy. Oh! A couple of them went missing, but that one doesn't as Nork burns on down and... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. NIP, if they were riding a high. Okay, Chad, have you got a notepad nearby? I, I... You know how I wanted the crickets on the soundboard? I yeah. also want like a Wilhelm scream because that's when I'd have used it for Nork. I think, okay. I think we, we can build a, a pretty solid soundboard here that I'm fictitiously creating. Maybe we could actually build it. Uh, hold up, I'm typing. Wilhelm scream, yep. crickets. Any other submissions to my potential imaginary soundboard as well that uh, I've been promised by production. I just have to buy it myself. Walking through the smoke, I, rely, I reckon Rez fans fancies this one. Obo, what a perfect premonition. They're all oh. in it, look at them, just burning. Oh, colossal damage. Poison's just putting the cherry on top, folks. Twist nearly lost his life. It's config in the end. Complexity looking really threatening. Yeah, Obo just put them on toast, something cruel, lighting Jesus. them up. Look at the timing on that incendiary. By the time the damage is done, Poison really, I mean, he could have been firing paper clips out of that rifle. It would have done the job. Whoa, oh, that is a... Oh. It's a bit of a jump scare when Nork's camera pops up. <laughs> And the NIP fans not looking too happy with how this one's unfolding because it's already 12, uh, sorry, yeah, 12 rounds in. We're on round number 13, 10 to 2. Running away with this one is Hampus. He's gone for a hero AK and, well, he's been the hero so far, so let's see if he can do it again. Is he the Superman or... Is he more of the Banana Man? Takes Nothing wrong plan. with Banana Man, actually. He had good powers. <laughs> I know he's not... King of the castle, but the yellow and blue, it was done before. He's no Roger Ramjet, He's though, no, is he? Yeah, oh, that's what I was going to say, but that's the hero AK gone. Config feeling frisky, and he does connect onto Plopsky. Ooh, okay, Nork has arrived into the kill feed as well, just beheading Config on his retreat. And that utility orb might have to do some serious work. There he is, doing work indeed. Obo on the fast flank, but makes things awkward for Nork as he's lost his teammates. He now knows his presence pop. But that was normally the inner player. Oh, Obo, what's going on here? Whoa, I was looking for info, gets it. Confirms Nork is making a beeline for that inner side. I think Poison should be filling that gap in time. 11. Just what you need to see here. So this is a, a last ditch attempt right now from NIP. If they can post four, they can get away with an 11 four half. They can win the pistol round. They can vote against the four spies. They win the first gun round. Okay, we're back, Tonky Dory. There's no dramas. We'll pretend this half never even happened, but where it feels like we're going, where it feels like the direction of this game is trending, is the juggernaut are just going to run through. He's, yeah, I know. I know, I'm gonna leave it. He's like a passionate fan, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wish I could quantify it. It's just, no, it's just not conducive to a, I mean, maybe that's the environment he wants to operate in. It seems to be working wonderfully. Good job, guys, you won the round. You did it really well, but I'm still pissed. He is giving off that vibe, and yeah. maybe he's just a perfectionist. He wants 16 zeros every day of the week, Alex. I suppose, but everyone I'm... alive every round, 16 yeah. zeros. I mean, everyone... They're winning 11-2 on train. It's yeah. an happy's map choice. Yeah. They're making it look silly. I guess what it means is when Blame actually pats you on the back and says, good round, boys, you're like, holy schmoly. Yeah, you've done a good job. You've actually done something crazy. Here we are. It's the Hampus main walkout, and... Popsky leg shot. Yeah, speculative shots are tagging away at them. That's the first pick on Inner, though. That's Ovo gone. I wonder what that's going to do to the CT setup. NIP could be postured for that, as you mentioned, 11-4 finish that would keep us competitive if the pistol was matched up.
Hampus is very low. He might be sniffed out here. Oh, a double. Config immediately levels the odds and then twists the knife. They are now at a disadvantage, operating with just three. It's NIP. Changed by Nork. Rush getting a bit too greedy there, hunting for the main info. Can't blame him, can't fault him, but punished. Intrigued as to why Poison is rotating back out of that inner sight. Are they playing retake or...? I think they're gamble stacking towards the yard position here, trying to go with a big call, hoping it pays on off. And if it is the inner sight, they can retake as a unit, not giving up any names. Now, we can see this is a clear approach towards the B-bomb site. And Config, you would not, you would not, you filthy, filthy man. He is up and clearing the white walls. They are taking the inner sight. There's somebody waiting. He's got back turned. Can he take Twist down? Bit of damage done, but that that should be enough for NIP to secure this one. Look at all the nades they have left. Yeah, now we're talking. Very difficult retake. Or very improbable. Maybe if Rez didn't hit that shot, they would have had a chance, but poor old Flame. Three to find and just accepting Healy. Pulling over that M4 into the next. That's the necessary round we were talking about. Great work from NIP. Nork getting his credit as well. Sticking around main to catch the hunt for info. Important he holds on to this. You might wonder, oh, right. yeah, just go for it. Give it a crack. You're already winning by this margin. We'll just take a look at the bottom left-hand side of your screen. The loss bonus down the bottom of the barrel for complexity because they have been running away with such a lead. Money is going to be not strapped, but it's important if they want to keep running this double orb setup that this was saved. Blame will be able to drop that. He can buy himself. Poison, Poison can buy his own AWP. Rush can drop a gun if they want to give him the AWP to go glass cannon. There's a bunch of options here. There's... No right and wrong answer, but you want the best buy that you possibly can have. And I hope we're well, having a face in the screen right there. Last round of the first half. Map number one, series two. Then number five. I see what you mean. I'm back in the room now. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Just centers you. Like our Zen meditation. Precisely, and no one can get upset about it because it's all true. Final round here. Chat's already told you the rest. Config. And Oboe. So they do have like, there's always a slight twist to their CT setups in, in complexity. Every time there's there's so many clear like options and, oh. This, this right here, he can call that there's no initial contact. If he wins the duel with Rez and he's even, oh. Rez is thinking better of just yeah. dipping on out here. Yeah, I wonder if Config's gonna catch him. This is an interesting standoff, and it will have huge ramifications. If Rez was to go down here, it will all come down to the config's timing. Is he going to spend the whole round here? It's very possible. It's it's full info. He can call no one B, <laughs> but that can change very quickly. Gosh, the patience is being exhibited by both of these players here. He's going to pull a pin. Hello. He knows it's a fake. You. And he can just keep the CTs dug their heels in. He lets him go. It's, he calls it, it's just a fake. That is magnificent oh, no. info, but Rez with the reactions. Oboe's gone too. NIP looks for the necessary fourth and a good flick from Poison makes it more difficult. Needs to survive here. He realizes his life is important just so Blame can operate. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. He does like a surgeon operate too. Quick kills, Nork. Looking to try and remove one of these on the A side. It's Poison, elevated, spotted, missed shots from both, bolting it, and it's Poison to make it a 12-3 half. That is catastrophic. NIP gonna have to pull up their socks and tie up their laces if they want to shout on train.
Keep capping, I'ma leave you toothless. What? You're so dumb to choose us. Yeah. Ain't gone outside. I make it work. I'm in my back. That's every purse on my back. Is that your girl? She got it. She make it twerk. And why you mad? I got her first. You say you rap. You got a verse. I say the swag. You probably hurt. Back to the lab. You gotta search. I'm on my country commando. Yeah. Pulling up a clip six stando. <laughs> That's no game Nintendo. Ooh. I don't ever run out of ammo. <laughs> Gon' need me a benzo No fake friends, don't pretend, no yeah. Think I might've found my tempo yeah. Post it up in my tempo yeah. uh, Watch your man go dumb, go stupid If you're the best, then prove it uh, Got no words, be quiet, stay moving I got a bag, won't lose it uh, Watch your man go dumb, go stupid If you're the best, then prove it uh, Got no words, be quiet, stay moving I got a bag, won't lose it why are these boys so stupid? stupid. Counting me out now, I'm counting my money. I'm probably gonna cop me a new wrist. Y'all gonna think I'm a nuisance. Oh. No sound, know me who this. Yep, I made some improvements. Hey. Me and the gang been bowling. Your shawty gonna think we're the coolest. LSA say we got clips. Got we bout to make it a movie. Action. I make a hit I can't miss. Damn, the charts might sue me. Hey. The way I be stacking my chips. Stack it up. Probably the bank gon' sue me. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. Cause your man's can't uh, fool uh, me. My Commando, yeah. pulling up a clip six stando. That's no game Nintendo. I don't ever run out of ammo. I'm gon' need me a benzo. No fake friends, no pretend. No, think I might've found my ten. Post it up in my ten. Uh, watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Uh, got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Uh, watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Uh, got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Three, twelve, three. Never much love when it goes 12-3, at least not from NIP. Can they put up a fight on CT? We will see. I've got Chaddy B here with me. My name's Machine E TV. Hi. Uh, my name is Alex, and that was a sm small slam poetry performance uh, performed and executed by Alex Richardson, age 20. Seven. I know you thought you were 28. I did. And your sister had to tell you no, Alex. It was, it was a very pleasant surprise, Chad, to have a year shaved off on my birthday. That's quite nice, isn't it? 27. Maybe tomorrow when we just have the one game, we can bring out a couple of uh, props of ours. You could, you could show the presents that you got for your birthday. I love that. My dad is a very creative gift giver. I'll bring in some balloons. Yes. I won't be matching either. Oh, a bit of prop comedy tomorrow. A bit tomorrow. of prop comedy. I'm in. So uh, promedy, well, we let's like see if NIP can prop themselves up here with a 12-3 scoreline. We saw Blame smiling just there in some of the player shots. And he should be because they're postured to win. Yeah, I don't know. Prop themselves up or will they plop themselves up? I'm really oh. tired of not seeing any Plopski in the kill feed. Six frags. One of the most exciting Swedish talents as of late. And let's see if Hampus is going to add his name to the list. Wow, quick one, one for one. Expected more. Config quick on the trigger. And already spreading their... Are they really getting a bomb down just like that before the smokes even fade? That's a huge amount of space and a huge play. He's even tucked in on Ebox. Complexity, you're in a dream roll. Rush is still in T spawn for heaven's sake. He's even got a flash for contact. When they're on their way back in, they can call for the flash. He can flash behind them. Yep, bingo was his name though. It's gonna be Config's judgment call, I guess. Time's getting a bit light now. Smokes are out. That's the flash. And that's the frags. Oh. Both of them caught through the smoke. It's Oboe and Config with their powers combined. And Rez with the kit in the smoke. And hello. Config says hello with a knife to the spinal column. 13. Right. Alex, we're going to bring up Skybox here for everybody playing at home. And we're actually going to do a show this utility to kick things off on the yard position. So I'm in my camera. You're going to see the smokes coming over. One's going to land towards this side of the bomb train. One's going to land towards this side of the bomb train. But the little detail that's nice is Blame F's Molotov because if you stand here on the train, you can actually one way over uh -huh. the smoke. They take that out. And then that late detail with Rush and that flash that you mentioned, well, that's the final part of this. Beautiful stuff. Let's get back underway here. Thank you for that Skybox brought to us by America's Navy now. We do get to see a quick, rather fast start of deploying early utility. Nobody's going to get too hurt by that one. I said okay. that. What just happened? Stack nades on inner. They were well and truly prepared for that one. It was an aggressive CT smoke dumped by Hampus, and then two nades were thrown right in his dome. So 
He's been taken out of the equation relatively quickly. And NIP, this one is running away. Yes. This was a force buy. They lose this. That's 14. They only have 2,400 loss bonus. They probably have to force again. That's 15 on the board for complexity. They only have $2,900 loss bonus. They have to force buy again. And we're going to the next map. <sighs> and this is their map pick as well, Chadney. Very peculiar. Ooh, Rez's arm is spotted. And oh, catches Config with a bottle of flame in his hands. Obo jumping into his jaws as well. Rez can't believe the sweet treats delivered to him today in Pop Dog. Checking his right side is important here. He doesn't. That should be another. Look at these Deagles doing work. Rush caught the business end of the scout twice. And stringing those shots together enables Nork to make us a 1v3. Looks like NIP have managed to find a way in. Flame wins this initial duel. There is a chance, but the Scout versus AK, it's going to be a tough one. There it is. So he's going to take a lot of damage down to 29 points of health. Trying to grab some room is Rez. If he's noisy, Blame's going to hear this. Okay, so he snuck past. There is time to go towards is there? B. Plopsky's already moving. Blame has to go through Ivy. He's actually pulled both of them out of the line of sight by accident here. Yeah, and I think he's still got time. If he knives out... He has to get to the bomb train uh, now. Okay. Yeah, saving the AK. So thinking better of this, it is an unfortunate round for them to be losing there, especially kicking it off with that opening kill towards the inner bomb site onto Hampus. But some good kills from Rez. And Twist not being cleared in that cutout corner. It was a little bit of a problem, and NIP finally bite back. But they need to do so in a bigger and better way. So here's the opening Deagle kill from Rez. And then Obo into his own flames. Softening himself up. This is the, uh, I guess, the final nail in the coffin of the round. Blame gave it a crack. He gave it his best. But you're going to lose those. You know, sometimes you lose the force by rounds. This is CSGO after all. Every weapon has been made viable to some degree. And, well, the viability of the complexity buy, it could be pretty tasty. Deagles, smokes, the saved AK-47 on Blame. Ivy's a great place to take those Deagles in the early stages. They want to give you some fights. Meat cleaving them down with the jewels. Flame letting the AK be known. A big chunk of damage done to him, but he will get away. They've got plenty of uh, full Kevlar as well, so that AK can be juggled around to any healthy member once Blame does fall. I certainly wouldn't want to take it off him now with 17 to 4 at the scoreline. Scoreline. You've been hanging out with me too what much, mate. What the bloody mate. hell was that? I went all Australian accidentally. Some bloody shrimp on the Barbie. What the bloody hell was that? Still, twist set for success. This could be a tough hold. No flash for him here. And so Poison can take him cleanly. Room for maneuvers now. CT's a bit scattered. And that nade does look good. Ouch. Config losing the bomb right under his legs. Snake oh, catching some bullets. They've got full access to backtracks. So Obo's the main player. Oh, oh. Hampus. What? That looked like a laser beam. Nork found another as well. It is Obo to announce his presence, and yeah, give it a good go. Nork Scout's definitely starting to heat up a little bit. So they've lost track of Blame F. Have they, though? They lost backtrack. Yeah, you're right. Nork was unawares. He certainly has a whole lot more info now. And Nork, it's going to be between the two of them. Nork or Hampus. There it is. Fifth found for the ninjas in pajamas. These are all necessary rounds. Take the nice upgrades and AK into that next one. So this is Plopsky dunking on the bomb carrier. Nice clean explosion there. Nice round from Nork as yeah, well. Let's a second. We didn't catch this onto Wobo. He's always on the move. Look at him go. The scout just makes you so much more mobile. Obviously, it isn't as potent as the AWP. Do you think we've seen its maximum amount of play at tier one level? Or do yeah, you think over the years, because it's had different functionality. At one point, we had the jumping scout. And now yeah. I think we're seeing it, especially over the likes from Nork, the poisons of the world. Chris J uses it quite proficiently as well. Sirison, there's a lot of names who can use the scout very well and very agile in their approach. This will just be the economical. And we'll see what kind of approach complexity we want to go for. It's more of what I was explaining in the first half, and we explained from game after game with individuals who and teams who like to play percentage Counter-Strike. You take these Glock rounds slow, it gives you a chance just to, first of all, slow your brain down, slow the game down, but also from a strategical and tactical standpoint, you can milk out as much cash. Astralis have announced uh, their roster uh, for today's match, by the way. So just for those of you listening on the wireless that were unaware, Astralis with their seven-man roster, we previously saw them bring out uh, Glaive and Bubsky. This time it's going to be Esatang and Glaive as well as the Magisk devices. So no Zipex back in the mix yet. I wonder Still if we no see zip. him in game number three or game number four. Cool, if we just get a change every time. That would make it gnarly, wouldn't it? Wouldn't just it ridiculous. It made the death segments a bloody nightmare. Yeah, that's true.
Now, North shouldn't have any issues here. And there's only Glocks, so the dream scenario is not. That's all right. The plant is good. The oh. plant is great. I can't believe that's actually gone down. Yeah, they'll be cheering about that one as Complexity managed to get one kill, a bomb plant, stimulating the economy just a little bit more. That'll give them uh, more potent by going into the next round of play. Config and Blame, 21, 17 for Blame. You've got Poison there on 19, 16 for Obo, 8 for Rush. The other side of things, 12 kills for Hampus leading the charge, a big key in their T campaign of three rounds. 11 for Nork, starting to see more out of him. Nine for Twist and then eight apiece for Rez and Plopsky. So there is a real chance for NIP to come online, but it needs to start and it needs to start ASAP. No warp on the complexity attack. Rocking the five AK-47s. Bunch of utility over towards the yard position. Bomb is actually going towards B. Lots of pressure gonna be on Hampus here. Yeah, very impressed by the way Oboe was holding it. Complexity in config, that's a mad pickup. Thought he was in jeopardy there. Twist is hunting him and he oh, takes another config. head. Slicing through them like a hot knife. And this one is just done already. 14 found. Nork does try and kick and scream his way out of the sight. Config wants another one. He's actually flashed his way through his smoke. Calls it clear. Nork naded and eliminated. Wow, okay. Well, that's one way to get the party started for Complexity's T side, isn't it? Yeah, and that was lovely stuff to get that opening kill. I was just going back to watch it and double check what happened. So over towards Pop, as Config gets this opener, the Molotov on the ground has just been dumped from Blame, which is keeping Rez in the line of sight of Config. So his entire goal was to go out there and take out the Pop player. And he did exactly what he needed to do, and then some. So simple stuff from Complexity, understanding the tendencies in the positions that these players are playing, and then putting one of your sharpest tools, or the sharpest tool in the game right now, Config, to work and making NIP sweat because they need to take another time out to talk this one through. Yeah, I mean, even I've observed that Rez really likes starting his rounds, just doing that quick pivot between Pop and main. Yeah. He's got the reactions to back it up. So here's the counter. Config got a good team main spawn. You set him up with success. A couple of flashes out of Rush's hands, a molly down Pop, and suddenly you're already 4 to 5 v5. Make it 3v5 because you've got Config on your team and he can actually catch that twist in transition. The thing is, people have uh, been saying from that complexity camp that you know we haven't seen the best of Config just yet. Now, yeah, well, I'd agree. Isn't that a scary thought? Because Config with Magus back in the day, that was a beastly duo. Those two individuals were just brawlers. If he gets back in the freedom of Counter-Strike, he's able to do it with the structure behind him and the team of complexity with all the resources and the work ethic they do have could unleash even more dangerous Danes on the world. I feel like we have enough of them out there right now. Bloody hell. We build a second Astralis, maybe a third. Default spread. I have a utility coming on in now just to hold Twist at bay. Flash in return, but he won't have information. And if he wants to creep out and pick from behind that Molotov, there could always be players posted or not ready to go. So you can see he's keeping his boots planted as everybody on Complexity is corralling back around the map. Setting up the utility for the pop dog position. Molotov to lock them in. Flash to keep him in tow. And the nades are great onto Plopsky here. This is surgical from Complexity. The way that they are dealing with this pop position is fantastic. Yeah. The Molly trapped him. The nades killed him. I mean, I, I almost feel like that flash was designed for him to, to kind of lull him into a false sense of... But they were coming. Exactly. Yeah. Then they naded him. Isn't it cheeky? Jesus, I'd have gobbled that bait up for breakfast. Now Hampus has to serve something else up. Good chance for a surprise here. Multi-kill lined up. Good work from the in-game leader. Filling the shoes of Lecro and has done so to great success. Perhaps though, trained too tall of a task. Config so pushed up. Twist could find him. Okay, Config actually just leaps around the corner. Guns ablaze. And Nork caught by Config as well. That's 15. It does look like NIP's map pick is being pulled, ripped from them. Look at the money, Alex. It's in the bin. NIP, they're up against it. The double kill from Hampus, it wasn't enough. Oboes gets to swing out the high ramp, finds the trade. And that's simple stuff. This is some good Counter-Strike coming in from Complexity, continuing to impress. It's great the hard work and dedication pays off. Yeah, I mean, just seeing the product of it. And it's, it's I'd already said it once, I'll say it again. The train game between Fnatic and Mouse and this one, both play and feel completely different. Nice shot from Poison, just going to clip the wings of Plopsky. He will not fly far. What's 
Hampus up to? Okay, looking for info on the Brown Horse, and for now, just hoping to have the element of surprise tucked in on that box for Brown Horse. It's at least info, and aggressively. Complexity are going to be in no rush here. I'm intrigued by their finish and their intentions for it. This is how it's felt a lot of the time. And Noel shot from Twist actually takes down Poison on his initial Ivy Peak. They lost one of these before, though. They might lose one again. These are the harder rounds to deal with. You never know how the CTs are going to approach it. They take a lot more risks. They have to. Yeah. I don't see a world where Config's not checking that close corner. There's been such a gap in their info for main. These are isolation smokes. Also, they want to smoke off Pop. One towards back of the six lane. Flash comes out. Plopsky's not blind. Still can't deliver. The smokes do blue. And already Nork in a spot of bother. Nice shooting. Two headshots. There's Twist to find another. You're bang on, Chad. This is getting well out of control. Blame struggling to piece this one back together again. Hampus is on pop and that's... A little bit of a chance, but finished off nicely. NIP survive and will recover three AK-47s as well. Otherwise, their money would have been in dire straits. They have been given a lifeline here. I feel there's something that we can do at some point with uh, Hampus and Humpty Dumpty. Yes, precisely. Piecing them back together again. Yeah. Hampus, Wampus. No, maybe we don't try and freestyle it. No, not our uh, strong suit. This is all scripted, so... Every word. Sorry, guys, we're going off script a little bit here, but uh, Complexity will be rustling together a buy. AKs just rush on that Deagle AWP for Poison, and he is charging forward. Hampus will be at the high ramp. This could be the opening duel. He's looking for the low ramp pick, so none of his teammates are covering him off, but Hampus will get the better of Poison. That's not the way I saw that one going on down, but they were just expecting the low ramp jiggle, and it was the opposite. It was the high ramp all in. Yeah. Calculated risk this time is going to be... Very beneficial. Here we are. Cole just getting a little loose grip of the reins here, and it's starting to get a little more bumpy on this canter to taking their opponent's map pick. Now, with three players left alive, they have to regroup and try and isolate a jewel. The problem is they didn't take any territory across the map. The two positions that they lost are normally under the CT remit at the start of the rounds regardless. They didn't get anybody out into... Yard, they haven't been able to get Pop Dog control before losing a player, and that appears to be where they need to focus. So, Molotov to hold Rez back. He's going to drop down a smoke of his own. And I think they'll think better of using that because it does always, I mean, a little bit of a gap. And he might, through the cusp, have an advantage. Not clearing Ivy, that's information. There's already two players over towards the B site from NIP. And Config searching with the orb. This could be the opening, the flick on up. It was good. It wasn't far off, was it? They might just think about, oh no, maybe they're going this. Smoke time. Hampus is ready, dude. Oh, has it feeds? I see what you're saying. Yeah, twist core the smoke and they get both of them. He's open. It's wide open, Chad. They legitimately have turned this one around with the small nuanced play of lingering in the smoke. That's it. Oh, Comfort, you wouldn't surely close quarters all. Pingy doesn't need the scope. Rips that one off and shoves it in his back pocket. Just Nork then. Just Nork. Kit present, config unawares, and it will come down to blame to secure the game. A fake, and the frag, 16 to seven. Complexity, take NIP's map pick, and that